Hey Restoration fans, on today's episode we're talking seats, in particular those two 2015 Mustang seats that you see behind me. We've managed to get them inside of our Fastback build and are excited to show you how. If you watched my last video, you now know that we have power. That means we can move the seats front, back, up, down with the push of one button. Unfortunately, we don't have the footage of those seats going in, but today we're going to get the footage of them coming out because the next step is to take them over to the upholstery shop where they're gonna get that saddle brown leather treatment that I told you guys about. As I'm taking these seats out, I'm gonna point out a few things that I would recommend you do if you're thinking of putting in some seats like this into your car. Next, let's hop into the car and start removing some seats. I wanna show you how these seats were bolted directly into the floor pans and that we omitted one of the pans that's here that's factory, it's a pan that I believe is used to raise the original seats so that maybe they end up being this level or a tad bit higher. In order to fit these seats, we needed to have nothing in the way, so we decided to mount them straight onto the floor pan. If you look on this side, there is a mount that we had to make in order for these seats to be as level as possible towards the transmission tunnel you can see there's no mount. Reason being that these floor pans have a dip in this direction. So we had to raise this side in order for it to level out with this side. All in all, the seat's pretty leveled and fully functional. These bolts that you see sticking out is where the seat is fastened to the floor pan. Now these floor pans are kind of thin and we decided to do this because it would give us more meat to hold on to the actual pan in the event that the car is in an accident. We don't have to worry so much about the seat flying off. We put in these small plates. We put in washers with nylon nuts. I suggest that if you're doing this, you use this type of nut so that it does not reverse as the car vibrates. This is a very good way of making sure that that nut will stay in place. This is just a scrap piece of steel strap that we had laying around. The thickness on this is a quarter inch. These nuts are three quarter nylon nuts. Next, we're gonna go ahead and unfasten these four so we can get the seats off. All four nuts are off. That means that the seat is free to move. I'm gonna take it out, show you the four bolts that we welded onto the frame that go through the floor pan and ultimately allow all the hardware to grab on and allow the seat to stay positioned on the floor pan. First thing, we gotta remove the headrest. There's not too much room between the roof and this, so this has to move in order for this thing to come out easier. Now you may have noticed that even with the nuts off, this seat was placed in really well. And I did have some trouble ultimately. I mean, I'm even out of breath. Whew. Okay, so that's a good sign. Everything was made to fit. Let me show you the bolts that go into the floor panel. Here's a better view of the mount that we used on the door side. These are the ones that allow everything to level out. As you can see, these bolts are welded onto the mounts, and those are the ones that go through the floor pan. Aside from that, everything down here is factory. We did not mess with anything else. Rails are the same, and all the components are exactly as they come from Ford. 
Next, I'm gonna go put up a fight with the passenger side seat. Then after that, throw them in my truck, head over to the upholstery shop. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's video. I hope that you got something useful out of it. If you did, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you want to keep up with the Fastback build, don't forget to hit the subscribe. On our next video, we're going to be visiting the upholstery shop, where we're going to be doing a full leather restoration on both the seats and the trim pieces. So make sure you check that video out. In the meantime, if you're wondering what we're going to do with the rest of the car, don't forget to check out this Restoration 101. It does a good job of explaining what we have planned. Guys, thank you very much for your time. It means a lot. As always, thank you for watching and have a great one.